All right, let's find perimeter and area of these shapes on the left side of the paper. So for perimeter, we're gonna add the sides of the rectangle that we have, including this one, 13, and then we will have to add in this distance, which is half of the circumference. So for perimeter, let's just add those sides together. We have six plus 13 plus 28 plus the other 13 plus nine. It's gonna be 69. And to that, we have to add half of the circumference. The circumference is two times pi times the radius, and then we'll end up dividing that by two. Um, we'll round everything to the tenths place and use the pi button. But we do need to come up with the radius. So I know that six plus nine is 15, but it should be 28 completely across. So if we subtract 15 from 28, we do know that this remaining distance here does end up being 13. So our radius is half of that, correct? The radius just goes from the center out. So the radius will be 6.5. So two times pi times the radius will give us the total distance around, but we will have to divide that by two. So we have 69 plus two times pi times 6.5 divided by two, which I could have just canceled out those twos, of course, and typed that in, but we end up with 89.4 and since that's perimeter, that'll just be inches in that case. In order to get the area, I need to do the area of the rectangle minus the semicircle that's been removed. The area formula for the rectangle is its base, which is 28, times the height, 13, and from that we'll subtract the area of the circle, pi, times its radius, squared, but we have to divide it by two because we only have half of a circle. So 28, 28 times 13 minus pi times the 6.5 squared divided by two, and we end up with rounding to the tenths, 297.6, and because it's area, our units will be square inches there, okay? So there's the first one, we can call it number one. All right, for the second one, we're doing the same thing, perimeter and area. So for perimeter, we're just adding all the sides. So this side will be equal to that one. I know I have um, the two 16s, so two times 16 plus the top of 22 plus, let's just add the pieces down here. There is another way to do it, but we can do five plus seven and we're walking around the outside. So we'll have to find this length right here. Five and 11 are horizontal and that's gonna be 16. 16 from 22 would leave me with six. So plus six plus, then we have seven again, plus seven plus the 11. So I'm sure there was a better way to do that than write all that out, but I just wanted to be sure that you knew what I was doing. So two times 16 plus 22, plus that, plus that, plus 11. I just did a little adding as I went, but you end up with 90. So the perimeter is exactly 90 meters. In order to get the area, we wanna do the big rectangle minus the small that's been removed. So the area of the large rectangle is base times height, 22 times 16, minus the base and the height are six and seven, minus six times seven. So 22 times 16 minus six times seven, and we have 310, and then those units will be squared since we were finding area there, okay? So perimeter and area. All right, there were decimal points here. Um, let's go ahead and find the perimeter first. In order to find the perimeter, I do need to find the length of this side. And in order to find the length of that side, I need to make my right triangle here. This total distance was 25.8. And from that, I wanna subtract the 13. So we get a leg of 12.8 just from here to here. And then this whole side was 24 and this piece was 19.8. 
zero, five, so not very pretty numbers. And this leg here ends up being 4.95. We need to, in order to find the perimeter of this shape, I'm going to add the 19.05 plus the 25.8 plus this whole side was 24 plus 24 plus this unknown amount in just a minute and then plus 13. Okay, um, so we need to do the Pythagorean theorem to find that and I don't have much room on my paper so I'm gonna do it here. All right, so in order to find this, which I'll just call x for a second, I have a leg squared plus a leg squared will equal the hypotenuse squared. So 4.95 squared plus 12.8 squared gives us 188. I don't want to round, I know it's ugly. Okay, and then I'll take the square root of that. Now I should actually try to take the square root of that number um, I'm going a little fast because sometimes it works out nicely, but my di my calculator is full of digits. So this is the exact length of that side. It is the square root of 188.3425, and I'm not going to round that just yet. So that goes right here. That's the X. So I want to add this to the sum of all those other numbers. So using my calculator, I will go ahead now and let's just add those numbers. So we have 19.05 plus the 25.8 plus 24 and plus 13. And then we need to add in that hypotenuse. So plus the square root of 188.3425 hit equals, and that will become, we're rounding to the tenths, a six. So about 95.6 inches for the perimeter, All right? In order to find the area, the area will be the rectangle plus the triangle. So the rectangle has a base and a height of 19.05 times 25.8, and to that we'll add half of, and the legs are the base and the height of the triangle. So half of the 4.95 times the 12.8. So as long as we're careful, the scientific calculator will take it all. So 19.05 times 25.8 plus one half times 4.95 times 12.8 and we end up with 76.53, which is exact, but we were asked to go ahead and round this. Um, that's the area of the triangle. Hmm. Okay, I think I typed something wrong. Let me just do that over again really fast. So it's 19.05 times 25.8 plus one half times 4.95 times 12.8. There we go, that's better. So we end up with 523 and then that's going to the tenths place. So about 523.2 um, square inches. It's only about because we rounded to the tenths place. All right, and this one, again, finding perimeter and area. Um, let's go ahead and start with perimeter. We can see that this is 1.5. That's the radius of the circle. Let's go ahead and find this side by using the Pythagorean theorem. So we have the leg squared plus the other leg squared equals x squared. That's 2.25 plus 49 which just give us 51.25. If I try and take the square root of that, again, it fills my calculator, so I can't, but that's how long each of these sides are. So my perimeter is going to be, I have two of those, two times the square root of 51.25 plus, and then we need to add this distance. 
and this distance is half of the circumference. The circumference formula is two times pi times the radius, but we'll turn right around and cut it in half because we don't have a full circumference. All right, so let's type that in. So we have two times the square root of 51.25. I've mentioned this before, my calculator opened a parenthesis. I need to close it because I only want it to take the square root of that number plus pi times the 1.5. And we end up, that'll round, It'll stay a zero when we round, but about 19.0 inches. When we go to find the area, we're finding the area of a semicircle plus a triangle. So the area formula is pi times our radius of 1.5 squared, but we'll divide it by two because we just have half the circle plus one half times the base, the base of the triangle is three times the height of the triangle, which is seven. Um, so here we go. So we have pi times 1.5 squared divided by two plus one half times three times seven. And that'll round to 14 also with a zero in the tenths place. And now we have square inches. <clears throat> All right, in this one, finding both perimeter and area. Let's go ahead and start with perimeter. So what you should be able to visualize here is that we have this rectangle and then two semicircles that together make a complete circle. So if I wanna find the perimeter, I have 46 and 46, 46 plus 46. And then I have this distance plus this distance. Well, together, that makes a full circle. So we can just do the semi, um, sorry, the circumference formula, which is two times pi times the radius. And 25 is our diameter. So the radius, the halfway point is gonna be 12.5, half of 25. So times 12.5. So we have two 46s plus two times pi times 12.5. And once again, we don't cut it in half because we actually have a full circle when we put that together. So that'll round to 170.5, the units are meters. And then in order to find the area, we've got the area of a rectangle, plus we do have a complete circle when we put those pieces together. So for the rectangle, we've got a base of 46 and a height of 25, plus pi times our radius squared, and the radius is 12.5. So 46, oops, 46 times 25, plus pi times 12.5 squared, and we end up with, that's going to round to a 9, so 1,640 and 9 tenths square meters. All right, on this side, we're just finding the area of the shaded region. So in this example, we've just got our big rectangle minus the small one that we're removing. And these are decimal points. So the big rectangle is 52.75 times the 32.6 minus 11 times 29. We'll get an exact answer here. 52.75 times 32.6 minus 11 times 29. And we have 1,465 hundredths. 1,460, oh, excuse me. If we're rounding to the tenths, that's gonna become a seven. So about, and then our millimeters are squared because we were finding area. So that's that one. Here we have a square and from it we are removing a circle, a pretty large circle. The area of the square is base times height. The area of the circle is pi times the radius squared. Just remember three is my diameter, so my radius is half of that or 1.5. So four times four minus pi times 1.5 squared, pi times the radius squared, and that will round to 8.9 square feet. 
And finally, in this one, we do have a square, 12 by 12 square, but we're removing a really large part of it. We're removing four circles from it. These are all equal circles. Um, so it's going to be the square minus the four circles. Um, four circles. <laughs> um, so the area of the square, base times height, minus four times pi times our radius squared. Well, if it's 12 all the way across, then this distance is half of that or six, so is this one, so that means that each radius is going to be three. So it's four times pi times three squared. That'll be 144, nine times four minus 36 pi. That would be an exact answer if I asked you to stop. If I wanted exact, you would stop right there. But 144 minus 36 times pi will leave us with about 30.9. So approximately 30.9. We didn't have any units on this one, but whatever they are, they are squared.